Phil Xperia News, back again with another episode of Res the Beer Swirls, Grow Edition. On location here in New Hartford. I, well, I, I, I was going to say U Utica. Okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's actually New Hartford. Uh, Just New outside York. the club of Utica. Yeah. So it's the first time, uh, first day they're open, right? Yeah. New brick and mortar location. Day. That's how much we love Grow. That's right. Um, anyways, so we actually have a brand new beer that they put out for the grand opening. Yes. And this is their Omni Mild. Omni Mild. Look at that. Beautiful. Hashtag proper glassware. Yeah. Because we're here. <laughs> so this is a golden hubbet. And it is uh, finished with oak staves. Oak staves. It's on uh, English yeast. Yeah. Uh, it's basically a table beer. It's 4%. Yeah. Basically an oak fermented pub ale. Yeah. And just we're, we're rocking and rolling. Easily uh, sessionable So we've let this warm up just a touch bit to kind of open it up. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Swirl it. Look at that nice foamy, fluffy finger ahead on there. It's, it is a, a, a reddish golden color. Uh, almost like a, a dusk, if you will. Uh, that word triggers some people, but it's a dusk. Uh, it looks great. Uh, holding up to the light, it's very much clear and um, it almost sort of Tangy looks like orange. it almost looks like an American IPA a little bit, but yeah. maintaining that like lager ale kind of Indeed. promise. Let's get a whip. Let's get a whip on it. Holy hell, Batman! So there is this nice fruity, just kind of white grape kind of zip to it. It's a, it's a citrusy field of bready mm. yeast. Yeah, it, it almost has reminiscent of like a nice wheat toast Yeah. Uh, before you put the butter on it. Nice um, jam you're about to spread on there. Definitely, you get the inside of that, that oak stave, you get that barrel. Yeah, I, a little bit I to agree it. with you, 100%. But without too much of the, the the like bitter tannin aspect. Yeah, it's just kind of nice and fruity and kind of bright. A little bubble gummy kind of thing going on. Oh yeah, a little bit right? of bubble gum, but it's fresh. Uh, it, it, it just kind of opens up your nasal cavities. Like, oh, yeah, that's gonna be a beautiful, it's a fresh, beer. sunny day. Yeah. So, all right, gang. Let's dive uh, in, buddy. Let's dive in. Cheers. 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 Grow. That's silly. Silly, he says. The first thing I got right, is a sweet dollop of vanilla. Okay. There, there's a little nice sweetness of confectionery sugar in there. There's like a really nice kind of woody kind of vanilla dollop to it. And then Some I'm, might say balsa wood. Ooh, balsa wood. That stuff's expensive. The, the table beer of woods. <laughs> um, it tastes like a fancy dresser. <laughs> um, no, but uh, there is that nice fruity component that pops up in the back end. Mm -hmm. I'm still kind of getting that kind of grape kind of thing, but it, it's it's more that you know white grape kind of. I I think I definitely get like a nice light uh, like strawberry kind of raspberry almost stick of carefree bubble gum. Uh, is this not most like four percent ABV, right? Mm -hmm. I don't even know if we said that. Did you say that? Oh, yeah. Uh, I blacked out. Um, so, this is super soft on the palate. Yeah. Like, there is not a lot of carbonation, and what carbonation it has, it's just this nice, really just kind of satiny, smooth, kind of comfy little blanket for your tongue. You know, it's yeah, like absolutely. the top of your roof. Um, almost creamy, like meringue kind of feel to it. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's it's light and airy with just a bit of crispness. Uh, it's it's so sessionable, so easily drinkable. You could crush this. Uh, perfect for the beautiful sunny summer day it is right now. I love the vanilla aspect. Yeah. For me, the vanilla aspect just it it is pun intended. The icing on the cake, if you will. That's right. Uh, it, it is because all those other things, the 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 straw, the kind of. A uh, field of fresh fruit, um, just that little sweetness on top, yeah. kind of just balances everything out and gives it just a little fruit sweetness that you need for it. I also love the fact that they can put this beer out and just knock it out of the park. Oh yeah. Like, Grow does like classic styles and just puts this little touch of spin on it. Yeah. And it's like, hey, 
This is classic, but just like a little modern to go with it. It's you almost know this is a grove. This is a this is a '93 lumber spelled out. Keith, <laughs> this is your beverage right here, man. Uh, I should say you would love this. This beer. beer should be in a giant 750 ml bottle, just yeah. slamming down on the table. You know, for Keith us might get a can of this because I do owe him a package, so we need to send him a can. Yeah. So, um, hey, if you like just old English kind of style ale, like cask ale, just kind of wow, chilling. I feel like you're just at the pub over in, yep, you know, somewhere. You got a bag of crisps you're about to open. Right. This, this is, is perfect. All right, uh, what do you rate it, Mike? Uh, I'm going to put in a league of its own. Is it, uh, I just think it's a table beer. I'm going to give it a, a four six all day. This is a delicious beer. You should put a stamp that with Tom Hanks, League of Their Own. Boom. Uh, Hell yeah, man. I'll give this a 4.5. All right. For the style, for yep. what it brings. I absolutely love it. Where the breweries are doing these things? Come on. So, real quick before we go, though. That finish, that drying oak kind of thing, it doesn't completely dry out. It stays saturated. So, Amazon is I, I really into it. Yeah, yeah. That goat had no yeah, clue yeah, yeah. what was going yeah. on. The horn, the horn. It was uh, crazy, but anyway. That's a good recovery. Uh, on live, we're not plugged in. The battery was just like totally dead. Didn't even tell us there was a warning. Actually, I probably could turn the battery percentage on. It's I'm over for now. It doesn't matter. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, like the, the finish is just like, it doesn't dry out completely. And there's this nice kind of fruity sweetness. Yep. Like, and it, it's like a, a fruit roll up with that vanilla and oak and then the sweet and the fruit. And it just keeps going and going and going. Wonderful carousel flavors. 4.5 all day. Done. All done. In the books. In the books. Yeah. All right. Uh, until next time, Dan. Um, yeah. Hit up Grow. Grow. Hit up the new brick and Get them wherever you If you can. don't like it, you're crazy. We'll pay your money back. Fuck it. Through fake money and Monopoly. Uh, I will pay nothing. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Right. Cheers.